welcome. I know what you guys are looking for. You guys are looking for the stocks that are most likely to go up tomorrow. You guys want to plan. You guys want to make some money. So I am, am going to help you do that. My name is John Coda. I'm a day trading coach and day trader of 10 years here to show you the stocks that are most likely to go up tomorrow and how to trade them. Let's do it. Here we are. Here we are, guys. We are live in the market, and uh, yes, we actually are live in the market. It's 2:41 p.m. right now. We are live in the market. We're taking a look at some stocks. Uh, this number one stock here is called GCT. Man, this thing's gapping up right now, big time. It just passed our our buy point actually that we had uh, set in. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna resist trading it. I'm gonna resist trading it. You might you you guys might actually see it come to uh, while we're while we're talking. You might actually see it come up to our profit target, um, but that's okay. I'm not gonna trade um, while I'm doing this. However, what I will say is uh, GCT is gonna be on our watch list. Uh, we're looking forward to break this uh, this fifty dollar level here, fifty dollars and forty cents to be exact, and then we're looking for it to push up to about fifty five dollars. And you guys might actually see that happen today. But instead of spending all my time, all, all our time, uh, just you know, looking at this stock, uh, we're going to go to the other stocks, and then we can check on this one later. So for now, let's go over to our second stock pick for tomorrow. That stock is AXSM. AXSM. So AXSM, super cool stock here. Uh, we have a buy point here set up on this one. If it comes above sixty dollars, we do want to take profits before it gets to 6150 because we have some resistance there okay we got some resistance there stock strong strong gap up to all-time highs this thing could technically go to the moon but in terms of what we want to get out of it we're going to sell around 6327 yes we are that's 6327 why because that takes into account the range of the stock and takes into account if we have a false breakout uh, second, uh, our first profit target is going to be at sixty dollars and eighty-three cents. Secondary profit target is sixty-three twelve. Okay, you uh, if you want to trade these, but you're also a little scared about trading on your own. Well, uh, just watch the video. It's it's going to be like at the end of this video. Now, APDN, APDN. It's such a shame, APDN. Really, it's such a shame because I saw this thing coming up. I was trying to get into this one this morning. We were going to make a ton of money, me and my students, we were going to make a ton of money on APDN, but it just went so fast. I mean, if you look at this thing, it came above my buy point in a matter of one minute. It took it one minute, and then it went up so fast that it gapped up. It just gapped up all the way from $3.62 all the way to $4.02. So we did miss this play. We did predict this play, but we also missed this play. And so you win some, you lose some, right? Uh, with this stock, we are looking for or this stock, this, uh, this price continuation to continue. This 425 mark is the uh, the goal here. Okay, we want to hit above that, of course. Okay, and our profit target is at four dollars and forty two cents. So that's where we're going to go ahead and sell our stock and pat ourselves on the back for a job well done especially after this week in the stock market. This week in the stock market was pretty harsh. I know, I, I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel so bad for you. If you traded today, it was it was tough. Even me and my students had kind of a hard time finding setups. That happens. That actually does happen from time to time where there's hardly any good setups. And the reason for it, well, one need look no further than the overall market, the S&P 500, the SPY, right? We actually had a gap down this morning, all followed by a, a small false breakout rejection to lower lower highs. And this kind of continued for the entire day. We're only above VWAP from 9.30 until about 10, 15, and then the, the downtrend continued. So we had a total market breakdown. In fact, for a few days now, the market's been behaving quite poorly. And I was expecting this a while ago, but it's a shame that it's happening now. 
Uh, fortunately, we are near a bottoming out point. So if we have, we do have a reversal, it's going to happen around this point. So on Monday, you can act, you can expect, okay, you can expect stocks to start rebounding. That's what I'm expecting, and you should be expecting it too. Why? Because you guys watch this channel, so you are automatically smarter, more informed, and more professional than 95% of the other traders out there. Now, this there is another lower point here at about $400, uh, 400, uh, $416, $416.85. Okay, so if it, it could come down there, but I do think that we're going to get at least a pullback green day or a full on green day on Monday. So I'm excited. I'm going to trade heavy on Monday because I'm, I'm with the hope, okay, with the hope that that's going to be a green day because we never really know when it's going to be a green or red day until we're, we're, we're part of the way into the trading day. But the probabilities are now in our favor. So I'm going to go in guns blazing. I hope you guys do too. Although you must wait for confirmation and use a stop loss. You cannot invest in these stocks without having a plan. We are here to develop a plan, to give you a plan, and to allow you to make money consistently. If you do not make money consistently, then you are essentially just gambling. So, uh, it, uh, by the way, guys, a little surprise here. This did not come exactly up to our profit target yet, but it did come up to, um, it did come close to it. Quick update. GCT did hit our profit target in the aftermarket. So it actually came up here from 50 and it went to our profit target at 54.85, uh, passed it by about a dollar and then it's, it's starting to pull back now. Will it go further? Who knows? But it's pretty cool that you guys are able to see how a good trade plan can result in a winning trade. So this is actually live in the market. So now you guys see, okay, come in with a plan and good things will happen. If you guys want to day trade live, side by side with me, John Coda, your day trading coach. Well, if you do, go ahead and reach out to me on the Discord, Discord link down below, and you can actually join me and my students and day trade live in the market where we take winning trades every single day.
So that's kind of cool, right? If, if I saw this happen and I saw the red candle, I would have sold. We would have made some money. Uh, if you guys saw this live, you would have made some money. But that's besides the point. Um, the, the point here is, hey, if you guys want to make money in the stock market, if you guys want to be consistent and profitable, you guys, uh, we have to get good at making plans. And so that's why we're here. That's why we have this community and drop uh, your thoughts on our plan in the comment section down below because we, 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 as traders, right? The only goal as a trader is to make money consistently. The only goal as a trader is to make money consistently. So if you guys can do that, okay, if you guys can make money consistently, then you're going to be in such a good spot in terms of being a trader. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking at GCT here. It's probably going to hit our set, our, uh, our profit target before we, uh, we move it down a little bit here at 40, uh, 54, 50. But who knows? Who knows? The market can go any which way. The point is to do what has the highest probability of success. So we, you guys know me. I'm a probabilities guy. So I'm going to put the odds in your favor. So follow the plan. Get get when you guys get in. Get in with some kind of reason. Okay, give yourselves a reason to get in, and then get out with a plan as well. Because a lot of people they'll get in, but they won't know where to sell. And so maybe a stock goes up and then it comes back down and they're like, oh man, well now I'm not, I don't have profits anymore. So that's why we always have a profit tech target that we go over on this channel. Use a stop loss, guys. Use a, uh, use a stop loss. Use a, uh, usually a limit order to get in if you can. That way you don't have that slippage. And as always, take care of yourself, stay green, and we'll see each other again on Monday when the market is open. So thank you guys for coming over. And let's go ahead and cue the video for if you guys are interested in learning to trade as a professional.